let's look at question 11. The diagram shows the positions of towns A, B, and C on the Earth's surface. So we've seen the Earth. Then question A, what is the time at C when the time at A is 11.22 hours? B, a plane flies from A to B in 9 hours. Calculate its speed if the distance between A and B is 7,200 nautical miles. Again, this question is give away. It's always one of the questions that comes where they ask you to find the speed, find the distance, or find the time. So, first thing first, let us understand the question. What's the question on A? So, if you look at question A, is asking us to find the time at C. The time yet C. Then we are given the time at A. So if you notice, we are moving in along this latitude. So C is to the east. So the towns that are in the east are ahead of time. Okay? Then in terms of the time difference, so the time difference between these two points or any points or locations on the Earth's surface depends on their difference in longitude. So this one is A is only longitude 75 degrees west. Then C is only longitude 45 degrees east. But they are all on the same latitude which is 55 degrees north. So, one thing is the time at C that you need to know will be ahead of the time at A, which is 11.22 hours. So, the first thing that we need to do is we need to find the total difference between A and C in terms of uh, these longitudes. So, since A is on the west and C is on the east, you see that they are on the opposite of the prime meridian, so we need to add their longitudes. So, you can start with A here. So, the difference in the longitude is equal to 75 degrees, which is on the west. We add with 45 degrees, which is in the east, which is going to give us 120 degrees. So always, when they are on the opposite side of the prime meridian, you add. If they are on the same side, you subtract the smaller one from the larger one. Then once we know the difference here, the next thing is we need to find the time. Now, the principle that we use is the fact that the Earth rotates 360 degrees in 24 hours. So it rotates 360 degrees in 24 hours. So we divide by 24, so this will give us 15. So for every 15 degrees, that's a difference of one hour. So for every 15 degrees, we get a difference of one hour. So to find the time difference, I can use new space. So we need to say time difference will be 120 degrees, which is the difference between these two towns A and C, we divide by this 15. So, we divide by 15 degrees, we're going to get 8. So, this is 80 hours. That's a time difference. So, if the time at, at, at A, we are told is 11, 22 hours, then we add 8 hours. This is M. We are going to get 19, 22 hours. This will be the time at C. So it will be 19, 22 hours. So this is how you answer this question. We got to B. We are told the plane flies from A to B in 9 hours. Calculate the speed between A and B if this is in the distance. So this one is easier because we are given 
we are given the time is 9 hours between A and B the time it takes to fly from A and B is 9 hours then we are told the, to find the speed if the distance is that so we use this equation the fact that speed is given by distance over time we know that distance we are given is 7200 from the information then time is equal to these are not commas time is in also in hours which is 9 hours so to find speed what do we do we just come here and do it will be 72000 not commas divide by 9 hours this is going to give me 800 knots which is not commas per hour so it's 800 knots so make sure to light property the units once you do that you're good to go you get the two marks so this is how you answer this question to get the three marks don't forget to download our companion app to start practicing remember practice makes it permanent